Jiang prepared to put his foot on the next step, and then two system windows appeared in front of him, causing him to go on alert. He obtained five star wish fragments. One thousand fragments could be combined into a complete star wish fragment. If the user had a skill level between level 1 and level 3, consuming ten star fragments could increase by one level, and if the user had a skill level between level 4 and level 6, it would require 100 star fragments to improve. Jiang began to observe the system windows and he couldn't help but start smiling upon seeing that he had obtained five star wish fragments. The market price of one fragment was millions, he had just started and the system had already given him such a generous reward. These fragments were not going to serve him for improving skills, but however if he sold them, then he could get enough money for the little insects to feed well for a while. Jiang stepped on the second step and several seconds passed with no illusion. Then he appeared in his subconscious, and slowly the branches of the spiritual tree began to grow larger and larger. He started to observe this and couldn't help but become alert. Jiang began to smile as he realized that the spiritual tree of all things had directly blocked the illusion. For him, this tree was incredible. Jiang stood still on the second step while the other geniuses who had not yet begun to climb started looking at Jiang and thought that he was acting strangely since just a moment ago, on the first step. He was crying and angry. He had been stuck on the first step for a long time, and now on the second step, he was laughing out loud. Seeing him like this, they thought that he would not be able to pass beyond the second step and would be considered the weakest of all. Gu Kaishin and Hong Yao simply stayed watching Zhang's behavior in silence. Upon hearing the mockery of others, with a determined look he decided to show everyone what a crushing victory was. But then he looked back and seeing that the elder Gu Kaishin was watching. He decided it was better to pretend a little so as not to draw too much attention. He started looking forward and was somewhat terrified to see that Jiang Wushuang had already reached step number 300. For now, he decided it was better to surpass him and then think about what to do next. With a disappointed look, Hong Yao explained to Gu Kaishan that little Jiang Chen had gotten stuck on the second step. According to her, he was not going to be able to reach step number 10. Gu Kaishan began to look at Jiang and he couldn't help but be in shock. He asked Hong Yao to stop talking and watch what he was doing. Jiang prepared to put his foot on step number 3, and again the spiritual tree blocked the illusion. He put his arms behind his back, started to hum a song and without much effort began to go up step by step, as if this were just a simple game for children. Leaving everyone in shock and with their mouths open, they did not know what was happening and how Jiang had climbed 100 steps at once just by singing. They came to the conclusion that he had deliberately gotten stuck on the first two steps because he liked the illusions of those two levels. They no longer had any doubt that he really was the master of poison. In the blink of an eye, Jiang surpassed Mu Hankyu and Luo Sandao. He started waving goodbye to her with his hand and while humming told them that he was going to climb 300 steps without fear. Mu Hankyu began to look at Jiang with a gaze full of love and she couldn't help but start to blush like a tomato upon seeing that he was singing to cheer her up. She decided to give her best effort. Luo Sandao thought that her benefactor was incredible, but the song he was singing was too embarrassing. Seeing the ease with which Jiang was climbing, Hong Yao couldn't help but be perplexed and start sweating. She didn't know if the Takesu Hall test had any flaws. She couldn't believe that Jiang had climbed more than 200 steps so quickly and without slowing down. Gu Kaishan began to look at Jiang and with a calm gaze told her that even he had not seen anyone do what Jiang was doing. Jiang passed by and surpassed two geniuses who were left terrified. No one knew what was happening or how Jiang could climb so fast. They did not know if he was climbing the same steps as them or if they were in an illusion. Not far away, on the highest steps were Jiang Wushuang, Tan Ying, and Bai Feng standing on the same step. Jiang started to look up and upon seeing this, became alert. He did not know why the three had stopped on step number 299 and were not advancing. Gu Kaishan began to observe them and explained to Hong Yao that every 300 steps formed a level. Even for the celestial geniuses it was difficult to surpass it. With a cheerful look, she remembered that she had also had to give her all at that time to pass that step. After that, each step felt like the weight of a mountain. She did not know who would be the first among the celestial geniuses to cross this first level. Jiang reached step number 298, and the three turned around. Jiang Wushuang could not help but start smiling since Jiang had not disappointed him. Tang Ying could not help but feel happy seeing that Jiang had caught up with them so quickly, while on the other side, Bai Feng simply remained silent. Jiang Wushuang began to smile and his body started to emit a powerful energy, making several chains appear. He decided to take the first step, leaving Tang Ying in shock. Jiang began to look at the chains with a surprised expression. 
he had a divine level class and did not know if Jiang Wushuang had a double divine level class. He had never heard of this before, and did not know if these chains were actually meant to conceal his power. At that moment, one of the chains broke in half. Jiang Wushuang clenched his fist tightly and stepped up to the next level, breaking all the chains. He closed his eyes, extended his hands to the sides and a purple energy began to enter his chest. As the purple energy was expanding everywhere, Bai Feng started to look at Jiang Wushuang with a perplexed look and he did not take long to realize that this energy was the reward for having reached step number 300. Tan Ying was speechless but for her this was not surprising since after all, he was Jiang Wushuang. He turned around and while his body was releasing purple energy, he revealed that in the Palace of Emptiness there were 18 o steps, the last step every 300 steps was the most difficult. By climbing it they would be able to obtain rewards. This step seemed to be testing willpower but in reality it was a review of soul strength. He started to look at Jiang with a lost gaze and mentioned that his origin was not good, since as a child he had not been purified by the treasures of heaven and earth, compared to them. His foundations were somewhat deficient. He suggested to him to proceed with caution and not rush into breaking barriers. He should slowly seek a way among them. While he was explaining this, Jiang took a small leap and climbed to step 300, leaving everyone speechless. Jiang approached him and with a confused look asked if it was really so difficult to climb this step and also if he was acting just like him. Jiang Wushuang was somewhat shocked and angry at the same time. He was unable to believe that Jiang had climbed this step so easily. A system window appeared and for having climbed 300 steps of the Taeksu Hall, he obtained a origin crystal as a reward. A green crystal appeared in Jiang's hand. He started to look at it and couldn't help but feel happy since this was an incredible reward, although the insects could not use it. He had heard that Uncle Jai Gang had been in the third transformation for many years, but thanks to this, he had been able to ascend to the fourth transformation. This crystal was much more powerful than the reward that Jiang Wuhusang had obtained. Little Nine manifested, and with a hungry look asked Jiang to climb faster since she wanted to eat the trail. Jiang started to look at the taxi hall and with a confused look asked her if she was referring to the trail that was on top of the hall, to which she replied with a yes. At that moment, Little Nine's stomach began to growl, leaving Jiang somewhat confused. She started forcing Jiang to climb faster. He asked her to wait since even though she really wanted to eat, it wasn't necessary to push him. Tang Ying and Bai Feng turned around and upon seeing this, they were left speechless, while on the other side, Jiang Wushuang became furious. He clenched his teeth tightly and began to look at him with a gaze full of rage. He could not allow Jiang to surpass him. He started to shake his fists, and eight hands appeared behind him and he began to climb like crazy so as not to let Jiang surpass him. Bai Feng was somewhat surprised to see that the war god Jiang Wushuang had refined his body. His eyes filled with rage and he could not help but become furious, letting out a suffocating energy. For him, people like them were truly annoying. According to him they should die. He extended his hands towards the sky and used the technique blood of gods and demons called die the sky blue. His body began to release ghosts. He decided not to let them surpass him, and also started to climb quickly. Several seconds later, two geniuses arrived at them and upon seeing that Tang Ying was standing and not competing with them. They thought this was very strange. She turned to them and with a serene look, explained that she was an assassin and could not be compared to those ogres. One of the men felt relieved to hear this, but at that moment, Tang Ying began to smile and little by little her body started to transform. She transformed into a snake and with a murderous look, she also began to climb quickly. The two men were left speechless and then hugged and thought that Mr. Tiger had not deceived them and that people were really too terrifying. For them, the four were admirable geniuses, but Jiang who was climbing as if nothing was the most terrifying. Ong Yao was surprised to see that Jiang Wushuang had made eight hands appear. Bai Feng had gone crazy and Tang Ying had transformed into a snake. According to her, Jiang was really impressive since with his own strength he had caused everyone to lose their composure. Gu Kaishin closed his eyes and started laughing out loud, and told her that it was no wonder that he was his favorite disciple. In the blink of an eye, Jiang reached the top. He was the second in history to have achieved this. Now that he had reached the top, he could not help but feel somewhat relieved and relaxed. Hong Yao noticed something and her eyes filled with terror. She did not know what Jiang was going to do. Jiang extended his hand towards the sky, letting out the insects. He decided to let them out voluntarily so they could do whatever they wanted. This is the end of the video. If you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.